Hello YouTube, this is Daniel, and um, this is my first uh, computer video, and I would like to demonstrate um, a program that I've written uh, quite a while ago. Um, it's a Pythagorean theorem calculator for uh, BASIC. I, I believe I tried this program using 8K BASIC on the Altair 8800. Um, I tried it, and that didn't really work, but if you use um, CPM M BASIC, or M basic that's included with CPM, it should work. At least that's what I've been using to make the program one. So right now I have my Altair, I'm sorry, I have my uh, Dell um, Ultra Sharp monitor um, connected with my older um, Micron PC uh, terminal that is used to interface with the Altair. Right now it is uh, waiting for something to appear through that serial port that comes from the computer, from the Altair. Um, Right now the Altair is off. This is an Altair that I have built um, from a kit that was provided to me by a um, um, person named uh, Mike Douglas. I will be doing a computer video on a uh, computer review or and um, maybe more of like a video on how it works and what it does a bit a little bit later. But right now I just want to demonstrate my uh, I want to demonstrate my um, um, what is it um, a Pythagorean theorem program. So. First, we must turn the computer on. I already have the uh, mixed. Uh, I already have the disk boot, uh, disk bootloader in the um, prom. So all I have to do is just flip the first eight switches up and examine. There is the code. Just hit run, and that's it. CPM um, should be loaded. 56k version 2.2, and there it is on the terminal. I'm going to put the camera down for a second and load M M Basic. See, okay. So I'm in the A drive, which is virtual M basic. The Altair is thinking, trying its ways, loading the M basic program. And there we go. Um, the M basic program is loaded. I think I have the Pythagorean theorem program already loaded. And I'll tell you some history about it real quick. After I load the program, let's see. Load. Blech. All right. Um, hold on a second. I do not have that for your program. I forget what it's called. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Um, sorry about that. Um, I got confused. I thought the program was called um, POT. Yeah, it turns out I forgot the name of it because I haven't used it in a while. It's actually pt.bas, so .bas, which is the basic file extension used in mbasic. So let me just make sure this is the right program. That is not the right program. That is a different one that I created. Um, yeah, I'll be right back again. All right, I finally got that program loaded. It was actually PTC originally, but I, I forgot to in, uh, include the .bas extension. Let me modify the program a little bit so it can be used on YouTube without revealing, yeah, my identification. Alright, so I did that. Um, the program is um, can be run on any Altair that uses that you have like a CPM operating system on it. To I using CPM version 2.2. Um, it's the 56k version, designed to run on a computer with more than 56k of RAM. And anyway, I have the program loaded, so here's to uh, test it out uh, to make sure to show all you that it works. You just hit run on basic, and there it is, Pythagorean Theorem Calculator version 1.2 by Daniel, copyright Stanley Geek Incorporated 2014. Let's imagine your triangle for a second. Let's say we want to find the length of side A, which would be either the, to or the, either the left side or the bottom part of the triangle, Side A can be anything. It doesn't really matter in the calculator. So let's say, for example, this is the easiest way of like telling what if it works or not. You just put three in, and then it'll ask you what the length of side B is. Let's just say side A in this case is the left side of the triangle, not the hypotenuse. That's what this calculator does. 
The Pythagorean theorem actually calculates the hypotenuse of the triangle. And um, so, for so side A is 3, which would be the left side of the triangle, left side of the right triangle. And B would be the bottom of the right, of the right triangle. Well, let's put in 4. And if it works, it would give me the hypotenuse as 5. And there's your answer. Number uh, answer is 5. So I'm going to do a check to make sure that that's correct. But normally, if you do the 3, 4, and 5, uh, the 3 and 4 trick, it would usually give you 5 as the answer. I'm going to pull up a, uh, my. Uh, I'm going to check my math real quick. I'll be right back. So checking, uh, checking my math real quick. Uh, we have. I normally do this. I put the formula below which is a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 equals c to the power of 2, which is the Pythagorean theorem. Um, you have to enter your variables in. Um, in this case, it would have been 3 squared plus 4 squared. So 3 squared, which would be 3 times 3, which would be 9, plus 4 squared. And then 4 squared would be 4 times 4, which would be 16. So 9 plus 16 is 25. Just square 25, and it'll give you 5. And that's the c. And that's you, what they would look like. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5, or 5 squared. So, um, the program works. I am um, willy-nilly be, uh, be, uh, okay. I'm willy-nilly be able, uh, okay, I am not saying that right. I'm just going to say it differently. I am happy to provide you the code. Um, I um, have never tried to make this kind of calculator before. I was trying to find a pre-made one on the internet, but I couldn't. So I just gave up and tried to make my own with the uh, knowledge I have of creating a uh, area of a triangle calculator. I was able to do the um, uh, Pythagorean theorem calculator. I will show you the code and I'll explain it to you really carefully about it. All right, so there's the program. Yeah, I have it set to loop back when it um when you finished so it can be used more than once so just hit control cancel so there's break in line 70 so we're going to do list this calculator program um has many unnecessary things i like to add to make it look prettier for example here we have the uh calculator that's the title so pretty much line 7 8 10 110 and 120 and 160 are pretty much the most important ones. Everything else is kind of uh, make it more nicer. So we have the title and the copywriting. It's um, not really copywriting. I just like to do that because it makes my it makes me kind of feel cool or something like that. I don't know. And we so um, 70 input. So instead of that being a print, it's an input. So the input is asking what side of A, what the length of it of A is. And it will, once you put that in with the keyboard, it will fill the variable A as what the number you put in. And uh, 100 will ask you the length of side B. And when you use the keyboard to put in a variable, uh, put in the number, it will replace the B as the variable you put in. Or it will replace the variable as the number you've put in. Then we have the physical solving program. Um, 110 is um, the S, which would equal both sides, um, A and B together, which is squared to give her the to give the uh, bigger number. Um, sorry about that. I just got very interrupted. Anyway, um, the S would be the A and the B um, added together after it's been squared. So that was a really simple one. So A times A would be um, well. A squared, so that would be three times three. In that case, would have been nine plus b times b, which would have been b squared, which would actually be sixteen, because four times four is sixteen. And this part of the code where you had to square the s, you've gotten as the answer, which was very difficult. Um, I I wor was currently working on this program in school, like toward the couple last days of school. I was working on this calculator program, and um, I could not figure out how to do squaring on the Altair uh, or in BASIC, so um, I asked my math teacher for help. Um, she is awesome. She helped me. Uh, she used to work on computers similar to this, and um, she gave me um, this problem. Or she used to work on computers similar to this back in the day, and she said that if I did 
the s, which is equal to the a squared plus the b squared, and I did that to the power of 0.5, or the power of one half, one half, that will give me the c. Um, that right there completely helped. I could not figure it out if it wasn't for my math teacher. But um, that code right there is the is like the, um, the golden of codes. This is this most important code to make this whole calculator work correctly. The fact, um, notice how this is equal to C. And that's kind of funny because that's what the hypotenuse is. And um, if it wasn't for my math teacher, um, she wouldn't have helped me figure out how to do squaring on the Altair 8800 or in basic. So after you do 25, or yeah, that's what S would equal because 16 plus 9 is 25. If you did 25 to the power of 0.5, that will equal 5. I've tried to figure out how to do squared to the power of 5. I wanted to see what that would look like because you know how you do squared to the power of 2 would give you like A times A, which would be A times to the power of 2 would be A times A twice, or A times A. A times A. I was wondering how that would be possible if you did 0.5, so I could never figure that out, but either way, it works on the Altair. And the, um, um, after that, line 160 prints out the hypotenuse, which is the answer C, which has been square rooted from S. And um, I just print this to make it look in, like, ooh, it's cool, it's, it's like, complicated. I just did clearing memory, which really doesn't do much. It just says printing clear memory, and then it would just go back to the beginning of the code. So that's pretty much my um, Pythagorean theorem calculator. Um, special thanks to my math teacher, Miss Freeman. Um, I will not give away her first name, because that's not good. And um, yes, thank you for watching. There will be more basic programs come. Um, I'm not really very good at basic. I just know the basic, basic, like, commands, like input, print, and um, doing math on the computer. But that's pretty much my basic, yeah, basic. Um, anyway, um, the computer does this pretty fast. I'm using an Altair 8800 clone. Um, not to get your hopes up, it's not the original Altair, it's just a clone. Manufactured by Mike Douglas. I'll give a link to the cool Altair in the description below. I will also um, put the uh, physical code of my Pythagorean theorem co calculator in um, into uh, the description as well. So you can feel free to copy it. I am happy to give it away. It's a program that I thought like it wouldn't be easy to do. Um, there was two ways of actually doing um, s uh, square root. Um, I just picked the easier way because there was another way you could do where the computer would like take the variable and like guess but I did the easier route by choosing this way which is to the power of 0.5 so that's my uh, uh, calculator program for Pythagorean theorem um, version 1.2 I am enjoying uh, when I upload it though I'm going to remove the copyright information and my uh, who originally created the software so you can put your own name on it um, and uh, enjoy. Um, leave any comments of how, like, maybe I can improve the code. I don't see anything wrong with it right now, but maybe there might be a way to shorten it. I know that there's ways to shorten it by removing those space prints, like, because uh, it's kind of a waste of code lines. But um, I do it for just to make it look pretty. Again, give me um, comments to improve my code. I really don't see what there could be any improvement. I think I made it pretty well. But yes, again, um, leave comments and thanks for watching.